President Obama today promoted his plans to overhaul the financial system, and he took his message directly to the people who will be most affected by the changes. Arlizzi O'Leary had the opportunity to talk with one of those execs, former Fannie Mae CEO Dan Mudd, now the head of Fortress Investment Group. Lizzie, what was Mr. Mudd's reaction to President Obama's speech today? Well, one of the things that we talked about, Mark, and that I started by asking him was the, about the president's tone, because it struck both of us as a little conciliatory. I think the president wa is recognizing that, that there's, a, there's a distance to go. He's got to be a little bit conciliatory in the process. Uh, he's been engaged from all fronts by businesses that are suggesting there's some potential unintended consequences in the legislation. Business is interested in getting something done. The government's interested in getting something done. There's probably 80% overlap. That last 20% is always is the difficult issue here. So if the words and the music go together and thinking through some of these tougher issues, uh, derivatives, corporate governance and so forth can actually happen, it would be a good thing. Well, let's talk about the one that obviously comes to mind when people see you. That's the GSEs. The Republicans want to offer an amendment that would have basically a, a special inspector general in the Treasury Department caps on the portfolios, caps on the amount of money they could get from the feds. We'll see if that actually goes forward. But what's the end game? What should happen to them? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm with it. There, you know, this is a, this, there's a, a giant discussion underway about, you know, what we do with the economy, what we do with financial services regulation. And, you know, the 500-pound gorilla at this point in the room is the GSEs, not addressed. The GSEs need to be addressed. There needs to be a path laid out so that participants in the, family, in the financial markets have some degree of certainty as to what the path is going to be uh, going forward. In this bill or a separate bill? I think it needs to start to get addressed in this bill because it's part and parcel of the entire discussion around financial services regulations. You know, what are the parts? Who are the participants? You know, and I, I think the intention of saying we want to get as many financial institutions in the uh, in the bill, in the regulatory structure as we can, not have parts leak off to the sides or sit there to be dealt with on another day. I think that's the right thing to do. The GSEs are a huge part of that. You gotta, you gotta at least begin to show your cards here. You have said that they should maybe be tailored to first-time homeowners with very strict borrowing limits, 20% down, fixed 30-year mortgages. Is that the right way to go? And do they do that as hybrid entities? Private government? Well, it's a ter it's a terrific question. Uh, so if you do if you do it totally as a as a government operation like it is right now, the taxpayers have to understand that they are 100% on the hook. If you do one other note from Dan Mudd is that he is looking at buying up uh, assets from failed banks as the FDIC opens things a little wider to private equity investors, guys.